Team PBF goes against Team One Step Player, and uh, you know, first match, Zetek playing Seth against Ricky Monsbarn and playing Menat as always. This is going to be one hell of a show, guys. I hope you're ready. Please stay put and enjoy it. And it starts mostly now. <laughs> Yo, it starts now and let's go. And Rickamans Barnett, you know, as I said, is going to have a lot of, you know, a, such a good time trying to trying to not, you know, just not uh, fall into the, the, the fury, the rush of Zetek. Zetek is going to try everything he can so he can get close to Menat and put some pressure on her. And he already can use Ooh. his V trigger and with a lot of success here since he's able to use the uh, the Dyson uh, the Dyson air, <laughs> air, air thing, you know, uh, for uh, taking back the, the powers of Menat. It's not going to do such a lot of damage. Very good jump in here, but no conversion. It's not a big deal. Okay, okay. What a reflex here. What a reflex. What a that's man. The Rickman's Bard is already so oh, ready for this nice match. Oh, nice teleport. And very reversal. Yeah, very reversal. Very interesting move here from Rickman's Bard at using the very reversal here to teleport himself out of trouble since Zetek was able to use for a second time his V trigger in a round. This is quite not not that not that often, I must say. Oh, Yo, nice, nice aspiratron in the matchup. Yeah, it's very interesting in the matchup using the vacuum cleaner, you know, just to whiff punish, uh, whiff punish Menat when she doesn't have the ball. This is absolutely brilliant play from Zetek, but it could not prevent him to lose this first round. Oh, okay, the player I found it. This is Fassa, the Urian player, ah, the okay. German one. He's just yeah, reached a warlord. GG, Fassa. Cool. Okay, going back to the, 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 the game, we have Zetek doing a lot of a very, very good job here on the second round. And you can see he's looking again with the vacuum cleaner to whiff punish everything that Menat can throw at him. And such a nice display of skills and take, it allows him to take the second round in a very, very, very good ease. I, I really love the way Zetek's showing right from the start to uh, recommend Bartlett that he knows he knows about the matchup he knows how to play it and how to be effective in it so that's very very interesting this is a plus on guard gotta be careful and recommend and Zetek playing super well since he lost the first round he is just unstoppable right now and he's done his Pushing into the corner, very conversion here, finds a very, very good conversion. Uh, okay, the stun is near, needs to go and th try something. No, prefers to just be patient, very nice. And again, conversion. Can, can he no, make he it? Not. Ooh! He, well, he did, he did, and he wrecked him. Actually, I'm surprised about that. Maybe, maybe Seth is a very, very good matchup. I mean, it's a, Menat is a very good matchup for Seth. That's possible, actually. Because it seems like um, Seth can with punish everything that Menat just wants to throw at him. So, you know, it's super interesting to see the way, I mean, how Zetek was able to, despite the fact that he lost the first round, he was really able to put his game on and show that Guys, his strategy time to... is very good. And yes, what an entire... It's time to player. bet you, your point because I forgot to put the prediction. I've just turned it, <laughs> so go ahead. You know that... Uh, Zetek can make it against Yo, Hickson Barnett. I think, I think we clearly, we've clearly seen right now that Zetek is more than capable to do it. And, and uh, the question is, will he be able to keep his composure or again, what a with punish? You've seen the distance here. Hopefully it does not do a lot of damage, but yo, this brings so many opportunities here for the... Uh, whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Is this comeback factor? Oh my God, the reset of course. the stun. Oh my God, in just five seconds? Oh, he missed it. He missed the combo. I think he was going for something like the super something. He just wanted to kill. But no, the guard stays on and no mix up, sir. No mix up here. I have the guard and I can see the future. I knew, I knew what you were doing. So no, uh, no loss here. Very nice round from Rukumans Barn and turning things around in such a good fashion. But again, but again, really the, the vacuum cleaner is such a pretty powerful weapon here for uh, for Zetek in this matchup, in this particular matchup. Very effective in all situations, gotta say. But this one is absolutely brilliant. Okay. 
bit too good activation, trying to go for some mix, but he missed the overhead and using the teleport oh. to get out of there with the very reversal, very nice. But oh my god, he gets all the hits from the stagger and he goes nice. for the super. Will this kill? Yes, I think it will kill and it will bring Zed take too much points <laughs> in this first match. Whoa. All Frosty. the damage, bro. Yeah, guys, it, it sounds like Frosty in my head too. <laughs> Okay, guys, we have match point here for our Z Tech. Z Tech looked very good for, uh, with a perfect jump in from the start here and the exhibition to super. Recommends Marnet is looking to do a lot of damage. We know, we all know that this, uh, uh, Seth, sorry, he does not have a lot of lives. So, you know, it's very nice here. Z uh, Recommends Barnet putting a lot of pressure on Z Tech and uh, it's a very good strategy here to try to push here. Again, using the very reversal, one of the few very reversal that can handle uh, Seth uh, V-Trigger because if not, I mean, with another one you'd, you'd get hit by the other heads from the ball and so not, again, very nice uh, knowledge of the uh, of the matchup and recommends Marnet looking strong out there, looking oh, but he gets that, that with no conversion using the very reversal to get some space again and not falling for the vacuum cleaner because this is exactly what Zetex is going to try to use again because he needs this one to get an O key and once he get an O key everything can turn around but right now, right now Zetex is in trouble he needs to activate his V-Trigger in the best way possible if he oh, wants to stay okay. there but he won't <laughs> the dive kick does the job this dive kick yeah, the dive kick dodges. In the day, actually, what's funny enough here is that Rickman's body just only did one dive kick once, one <laughs> from the two matches. Just we've to seen. kill. He did just one, just to kill. Yeah. <laughs> the, the sniper here, you see, that was sniping at this finest. Okay, guys, going back to the uh, to the character select screen. Is it just to have some, you know, a moment to uh, to chill down? Or to Maybe change the V trigger or V skill? Change V trigger, change V skill. But the vacuum V skill is a good uh, tool against. Uh, yeah, it is. But you can, that, you can see that you can see that you can see that already adapted to it. So, you know, it's um, it's always the same. You know, uh, you have. One thing, je crois qu'il est Snake. Je crois qu'il est fan de ta prononciation. On parle de on parle de quoi? Recommends Barnet. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, Recommends Barnet. <laughs> Recommends Barnet. Yeah. Well, how would you pronounce that? Recommends Barnet. Well, actually, I'd, I'll keep that. Recommends Barnet. That's. Recommends Barnet. <laughs> can oh, Can you course, try it obviously. in Spanish language? Recommends Barnet. El Recommends Barnet. El Recommends no? Barnet. El Recommends Barnet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, if obviously if Rick, if Rick doesn't mind about my accent and my pronunciation, I'd, I'll keep it this way. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind. Okay, well, how, would you, how would you read this? I mean, <laughs> in any case, hope I'm not. I'm just. I just really hope I'm not. Uh, you know, um, I'm not. Um, how would you say that? I'm not uh, making things. Uh, oh, nice. I'm not uh, lacking the respect nice he cake. deserves. And Ovsky, nice kick using against the vacuum cleaner as a best tool in the neutral. V skill, uh, v, v shift, sorry, again, V shift. I love it. I love This is one of the best interactions I, I really love in the game. Uh, so uh, I think one of the things they had it. Oh, this is how <laughs> once a player pronounce yeah, his name. Yeah, so, so we're, we are even. <laughs> okay, go. it's gonna activation. hurt. And okay, okay, whoa, 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 this was close again. Close, okay, pushing oh, no. as much as he can, but this is not going to end well for Zetek. And now, after having one match point, I think, no, maybe two. Well, it's Rickman's Barnett who gets himself two match points in this 52. Oh, and look at the reflex. Yeah, <laughs> the actually, DP come and grab. There. He's very ready. Okay, vacuum cleaner did not work this time, did not work the way he expected, but. Uh, Rickman's Barnett using a lot more the uh, the dive kick. It's very interesting to see that he's just changed the way the neutral was being played to add this new tool at this disposal. I, I really like the the fact that you know he just did li like that. He just decided to change and to see if there's something he can add to to, to uh, you know to to mix things up. And it's so far it's working so nicely for him. 
but beware because right now we have ZTEC full bar and is going to have another V trigger. So now is the time. If he wants to come back, he needs to pull out something right now with the good mixed up tool. Okay, he got does it. That. Okay, he finds the first opening with the Oki V shift trying to get some space back. Very nice, very nice. But the vacuum cleaner does the job again and he gets the Oki, but the throw is non thrown. Very nice here. We'll like, be careful. Okay, this is plus, I think. And the the, the, the ball was coming back, but no, no vacuum cleaner at this time. Letting a young man again and again and again. Ricky Barnett takes the first match 2 1 over the tech. GG. This, this guy is so solid, um, and yeah. <laughs> he adapts his game pretty, pretty fast. Actually, what I really like about Recommends Barnett in this last round is the decision making he just made, you know, uh, because he was facing um, he was facing Zetek, who had switched the momentum. He had the momentum going forward, wanted to. Uh, he got he got twice the Oki. Yeah, that was a good set. I agree, Wowing. I agree. <laughs> I agree. And you know that what I what I, I really admire is that Recommends Barnett was uh, aware enough to use the V shift to get some space back and uh, not using the V breaker afterwards. He was he really wanted to to say to stay aware, aware and away from that tech as much as possible to end the round in a comfortable fashion. Very, very, very nice. GG to command Warren and obviously to Z Tech. Ok, cette fois-ci ça va être autour de Akram mais ça l'aura. Yes. Est-ce que <coughs> il va être aussi hype? Hein? Oh oui. Okay, we have Akram, uh, who's supposed to play Laura, uh, but now right now showing a Lucia, and obviously we all know about it. Uh, one step player going with Karen, career Kanzuki, the famous, the infamous career Kanzuki. Yeah, I never change. One step player no, still just, sticking just Karen, like, and just like, I mean, this we is have main. Two, we have three people here. Uh, we have three three guys here, three great, great, great players who mostly never changed, you know? I mean, Recommends Barnett's been playing Menat for just as long as she's been out there. After that, we have one step player. He's been playing Karen also, I think, from almost, if not, the very beginning. And we have Alpha Cyan, who also was very, very, very loyal to, uh, to Nikali, despite the changes and everything. So... I, I really like that, uh, you know, the, the commitment, the commitment, uh, it's really, oh, really, finally really, really like Colin, that. Oh, finally, not and Laura. He, that's a surprise. Okay. Yeah, that's, the Colleen. That's something I expected. Because Colleen has been so badly nerfed and dispatched, so I wouldn't expect, I would never expect someone to pick Colleen uh, rather than, you know, Laura or over Lucia in this kind of matchup. But, you know, he really knows what he's doing, Akram. So let's see, let's see what, he ha what he's got right now. And so far, it looks good for him. Okay, good with okay. finish with the EX. Yeah, yeah, very good. And now he's pressing in the course. corner. Okay, it's great. Amazing. It's amazing that Akram is playing one what, the V trigger one Colleen and he gets the round actually. But it's very amazing to see someone playing again the uh, V trigger one uh, activation for Colleen because V trigger two is known to be so powerful. Well, obviously, I don't know if uh, V trigger one has been buffed that much uh, uh, regarding uh, you know the, the V trigger two, but it's very nice to see. Okay, okay, now it's turned to one step one, player to put the pressure. Yeah, one step. Yes, he takes it, the pressure, putting into the corner, and again, you know, pushing, pushing back. Look at the way Akram show puts the pressure and takes this very, very good counter. He was looking for this V shift. He could not convert it, but he, he definitely read it. And uh, now he's looking very strong. Akram is capable of doing something, but careful because the one step player, he only needs one hit to convert into CA and mostly close the round. Careful, careful, gotta be careful here. Ooh, this is it. Whoa, whoa, no, he goes for a full conversion and another combo with a, with a Shimi. And uh, once the player back in action right away. But Akram showing that he really, really has the calling ready for the fight. Love it, I'm loving it. 
Okay, conversion, classic conversion, pushing it to the corner, trying to go for Shimi. But no, Akram will not fall into this one again and find a very good opening. You know, pushing again, very slight delay to, to have this conversion and pushing it to the corner. The throw is ticked and now is one step third moment to push and to get back into the round. As you can see here, he does it quite well. Trying to both character almost same life lead and uh well now activation v trigger of course with the uh with the mixed and the mix and the throw and very nice okay akram having such a low life lead but no gets a very good opening from one step player trying to go for a reset did not work and now and now it's akram who tries to do a through a mix up oh but no my man you are not going interception. to interception <laughs> interception exactly oh. He's shown the palm like this, pull! <laughs> like, you see like someone running at you at such a speed and then oh, in the middle of the of the run, ouch! Ah, il, ouch. Il, il était ready, hein, uh, one step ah, player. He was, ready. he was looking for it. Alors, un petit refresh hein, sur les, euh, les, les locators. Il n'y a, a pas beaucoup d'anglais en fait hein, sur, le, sur la chaîne. Il y a essentiellement des, des français donc. Euh, ouais, je pense qu'on va passer un, un petit peu en, en, en français. En français, un peu anglais, on peut mixer quoi. On peut, on peut mixer aussi les, les commentaires évidemment et c'est reparti avec un match qui tient pour le moment toutes ses promesses à Akram qui clairement ne fait pas de la figuration hein, avec euh, sa colline et, euh, et qui vraiment fait le job et encore une petite chop pour le plaisir et puis évidemment le lot pour dire à l'adversaire non mon gars tu restes là ça par contre je ne comprends pas cette, cette balayette complètement dans le neutral la balayette neutrale approuvée et le pif qui est totalement gardé par Akram et qui peut pouvoir en profiter pour mettre les dégâts et peut-être bientôt trouver il aurait pu peut-être trouver un peu plus là le comment dire euh, la poussière de diamant pour mettre euh, One Step Player dans une position où il prend des dégâts et, et voilà. fait le, notre ami One Step Player qui est complètement frisé et qui perd ce round permettant à Akram de revenir un peu dans ce match. Akram qui peut-être <coughs> fâché hein, par rapport au, au jeu précédent là il, il s'est malheureusement fait sécher avec euh, le, le light tout à l'heure donc euh, moi je ouais. le voyais plus gagner hein, le, le premier jeu et bon, il va pouvoir se rattraper, Après, hein, normalement. One Step Period avait vraiment bien réagi. Et là, il trouve encore une bonne ouverture, One Step. Hein. Franchement, c'est solide aussi, hein, comme jeu. Eh, c'est bien amené. Attention, le V-Shift, il l'avait mindé. Encore une fois, il l'avait mindé, mais il n'est pas capable de le, euh, de le casser. C'est dommage. Et là, il prend cette ouverture qui va permettre oh à One Step Period de revenir tellement vite. C'est dommage parce qu'Akram, il, il nous montre vraiment des très belles choses avec euh, Colin. Et ouais, là, il s'est empalé, aussi... là, sur la Karine. <coughs> Ouais, mais ce qui, ce qui est dommage, c'est qu'il nous, nous montre aussi un read de très haut niveau hein, sur, les, les, sur le, le, v, le V shift, pardon, où il est capable vraiment de lire le, les réactions de son adversaire et d'anticiper. Par contre, il n'est pas encore capable de trouver les dégâts euh, dans cette situation-là où finalement c'est lui qui aurait dû trouver l'avantage. Mais là, il va trouver le stun, les gars, le stun pour Akram et qui est très bien dans ce round et qui va peut-être tenter un reset. Non, il va pas aussi. Évidemment, c'est ce qu'il tente un petit peu avec un autre qui ici et qui me pousse. Il pousse la shop qui n'a pas fonctionné, mais qui est bien déchopé hein, de la part de One Step Lerud qui trouve encore une ouverture attention One Step Lerud qui a toutes ses barres qui activé maintenant le trigger et qui pousse et qui va pousser oh là là là. encore attention c'est positif on connaît tout le monde connaît depuis là mais oh, oh, là là. oh là là le bas médium et là attention c'est passé à rien du tout et c'est maintenant qu'il va falloir décaler et c'est ce qu'il fait avec beaucoup de réussite Akram qui s'en sort et qui prend le deuxième match salut Kazé et, et merci Kazé pour Kazé. ton raid hein. Avec, euh, avec 18 personnes, ça fait plaisir. Euh, voilà, ouais, les gens qui viennent beaucoup, soutenir la, la chaîne. Beaucoup. Si vous découvrez merci la chaîne, n'hésitez pas à follow la chaîne. Ça permet de soutenir la chaîne et aussi d'atteindre l'objectif des 750 followers pour le tirage au sort du prochain cadeau. Le fameux. La le dernière fameux fois, c'était Onirachu qui a gagné euh, le jeu Resident Evil 7. Ça se trouve, c'est peut-être vous qui allez gagner le prochain jeu. Oh putain, on se croirait à la française des jeux. 100% des gagnants ont tenté, tenté leur, leur chance, vous le savez. Et donc, c'est parti, on repart directement avec One Step Lead qui est en train de faire le job sur Akram. Mais pourtant, Akram qui, ouais, bon, bon challenge de la part du joueur suisse ici, qui fait le job. Mais ouf, par contre, il prend ça dans les mollets, mon gars. Mais alors, ça, il prend ça dans la malléole. Par contre, celui-là, il le prend plein de tête, le jump in. Et il fait très mal la shop qui s'est trouvée, qui est déchopée, très bien déchopée. Mais on est vraiment quasiment au bout là du côté d'Akram mais il prend ce overhead pour qui va permettre d'offrir à One Step Lead 2 match points <coughs> 
Okay, get back to English for this match point. We have one step player. Oh, he gets a very big crush counter here in his face from the beginning. Very nice conversion here from Akram who pushes into the corner and gets the pressure. And going to need to stay out there. Okay, but very nice jump in of Armand. It's not exactly jump in, but jump to get out of the corner. What a good intention at this moment. Now get back out there, young boy. Just don't run out of the corner yet. You need to stay out there. You were punished. You tried to hit me and it's not going to work okay back into the center looking strong and Akram is going to look for Ooh, oh the, the, the yellow <laughs> the DP here oh my god what a DP what a DP really need to go for there for it and it's already 1-1 one, one. and it's uh, well it's match point on both sides oh come on uh, Akram let's support the French player to get back to the score for the team PBF we yeah. we like suspense. <laughs> yeah, blow! Come on, this is going. No, it's, he's playing. I mean, he's doing one hell of a match because we know once they played how good he can be. And now he feels like okay, it feels like it's going to be tough. Gets a good left lead here from once they played, but the activation maybe will help him out. But no, yeah. Well, the second one is did something not quite enough I think but uh, you know everything is possible yet so okay yes. very nice we'll finish here with the power bellum pushing into the corner obviously trying to go uh, for a uh, oh my god what happened okay trying to go for he, he nearly died mix, and oh so yeah and it's just stud, he found it he and he made, it. It. he made the comeback out there such a good move from Akram taking it 2-1 over one step layered what a match here from the Swiss, oh. the Swiss player. What a skill. Bro, who said that Colin was dead? Who said that? GG Akram, the survivor of the team, PBF. C'est bien, il permet de recoller au score, c'est ce que je voulais. Et à la limite, j'aimerais ouais. que la team PBF l'emporte hein, sur la team Layers Lad afin de, de ralentir ouais, la de progression. Hein, truc, ouais. Parce que euh, ils ont vraiment une sacrée avance, hein, la team de One Step Player. En ah tout bah, cas, ouais, ce sont des sacrés joueurs, hein. GG hein, <rire> euh, Akram hein, qui, euh, qui fait le taf, qui remet ouais. des pendules à l'heure. Hein, il a Akram, bah, Vidra Afro Saiyan. Uh, one Step Player, super amazed here. Uh, you know, it's, I mean, he really took some risk here. He really did, you know, uh, and it was super risky, the moves he did, the challenges he made, and it worked, it worked, and you know, just GG to him. Il a bien fait hein, de prendre le risque, tu vois, comme quoi. Hein. Ah bah à chaque fois, à ça chaque paye, fois, à ça chaque paye. Fois, ça a été payant, ça a été payant, il y a juste un round où il a vraiment tout pris, mais vraiment pour le reste, ça a été très payant. Allez, attends, attends, je bouge, je bouge, je bouge, je... I promise, I'm moving, I'm sorry, I am out there, and I will let Vidra go against... Uh, Go against uh, Safwan, I mean, uh, you know, Afro Cyan, going to be great. Est-ce que okay, Vidra va sortir guys. encore sa colline ou il va rester sur Lucien? Je sais qu'il avait joué Lucien depuis un moment. Thank you for the follow, uh, Norin Duke. You contribute to the target of the 750, 750 followers for uh, a cadeau, a presence. Donc merci, hein. je sais pas si c'était français ou anglais, uh, Norin Duke. En tout cas, tu contribues à, à l'objectif des 750 qui débloquera merci, un prochain tirage au merci sort. Merci Poto. Merci Poto. Merci Poto. Et c'est parti, troisième match dans cette rencontre entre les PBF et la team euh, Layered. Euh, Layered Zlad, I think. Euh, c'est parti, on a donc Vidra, the captain of the PBF team, going with Lucia. Vamos. Uh, and he's facing Afrocyan, who's playing Nekari. And he's looking for dev to devour, <laughs> as he says so often. And let's go. And starts right away, you know, with Seismo not looking in. Oh my god, first jumping goes to Safro Cyan, to Nikali. Pushing into the corner and gets there. Okay, pressure's good. But no, sweep will make the job. No, get back out there. Get back in the corner. This is where you belong, bro. Yo, this is this is a, a, a battle for who's going to stay in the corner uh, the most. Very nice conversion here. Very nice, very nice. Nikali looking so strong in P-Trigger. And I really love the fact that uh, Afrosayan did not go for a color of Nikali where you could not just see anything with the hair when he converts to V-Trigger. And uh, it's very nice. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. The XDP oh blocked. What a rage from Vidra. I love the way how Vidra played that. 
it triggers you so much you know when you're fa when you're have you're, you're just uh receiving one two three uh three uh three Throw. throws and and you, you just cannot react and you 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 just don't react and you know at the end you're so pissed off that you want to throw everything that you have and this is where Vidua baits you he knows it and he gets you okay nice conversion and the stun here for a first oh. okay let's go no oh, it oh. doesn't kill oh my god oh my no god no juggle oh my god he i hope he's gonna oh <laughs> Oh, he's gonna not really great. And now activation for the jump. Vidra. He's going to Ooh. do a lot of damage. No, he missed the combo. And again, again, Afro Saiyan trying to rush out there. It's been two times that he's jumped into the corner. You know, he's made just a, a regular jump, a uh, neutral jump here to try to. I think he's got a lot of retard. Maybe just snake. survive out there. And uh, and twice he's been punished for it. On avait déjà vu la fin. Je crois que t'as un sacré décalage, Snake. Oh my god. I think that was a DP. Come on, Vidra, wrecked him. He's going to try. Eh bah là, ça part avec 99, 98, 97. Ouais, là, c'est bon. Ok, bah on est reparti alors. Allez, c'est parti un petit peu euh, un petit peu de français pour cette euh, suite de match. Il y a très bon dive kick ici. Comme je le disais, hein, avec un, un, un afro saiyan qui dans le coin n'a pas fait les bons choix euh, quand il s'est retrouvé en fin de match. Il a sauté en neutral euh, deux fois pour éviter probablement des... des, des... Des shops et ça l'a desservi même s'il a regardé regardez par contre là la machine est enclenchée et c'est violent les dégâts qu'il trouve avec son écali mais ce pif ici de vidra qui fait le job pour sortir mais ça ne suffira pas monsieur on oh, même si tu m'as piffé sur moi je ne m'inclinerai pas je vais te marcher dessus comme je sais le faire premier match pour afro saiyan Allez c'est reparti, Afro Saiyan qui euh, retente un petit peu cette ouverture, ça ne passe pas, bonne ouverture là de la part de Vidra qui en plus pousse tout de suite son adversaire dans le coin et c'est fait, il y est avec un coach qui trouvait une bonne conversion ici euh, pour Vidra, Vidra qui est bien, il est bien installé dans ce match là, on va voir un petit peu si Afro Saiyan va trouver les ressources avec une activation V-Trigger comme je le disais avec une couleur qui est euh, pour laquelle mes yeux disent tellement merci et Vidra là qui, bah, il, je pense qu'il il est parti en courant, je pense qu'il a vu un, un méchant, euh, une méchante personne qui qui n'avait pas payé le PV, hein, et Lucia, vous la connaissez, la justice avant tout, elle devait absolument aller le voir Bien joué. Et, et faire le job. Oh putain, ça fait mal ça. Ça, ça va faire très mal. Ah bah ça tue même. Hein. Il a pas fait dans la dentelle euh, Afro Saiyan là, euh, là, là dessus euh, C'était deux rounds parfaits pour lui. Hein. Ah ouais, là ça fait mal. Ah, il lui a mis une petite tanasse là, mon gars. Ah là, c'était... Euh, il lui a mis la, la douille. Hein. Est-ce qu'on ah va là revenir là. sur la caractère C'est une hein. bonne question. Alors maintenant, c'est intéressant parce que Vidra, qui a... Vidra a pris le premier match, ouais. hein, on est d'accord. Hein. Ouais, il y a un partout. Il y a un partout. Et maintenant, est-ce que Vidra va euh, décider de... J'y vais, j'y vais. Est-ce qu'il va décider de counter pick alors que finalement, cette Lucia, elle faisait le job hein, contre, contre Nekali. So, uh, is he going to counter pick Is he going to stick with Lucia nah. That's a good question. I think um... he will stick to Lucia. Bon... Well, We'll find out in a, in a few seconds. It's very uh, strong, anyway, Lucia. Lucia he, he is do make, a, make a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, he does actually. Uh, no, is Lucia is fully capable of winning this one. Um, well, I guess maybe he's going to go back now that he's got some info on how Afro Saiyan plays. Maybe, maybe he's going to come to pick. Will he? No. no, not at all. He just wanted to chill down and you know to just recover and regroup. Now he's done that, he's ready, and let's go back to the show. And let's start, and I hope I do not have that much delay. And let's go, it started, and it's 95, 94, 93, let's go. Okay, man, okay, 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 for Cyan looking good in this uh, this beginning of the round. And, uh, well, you know, pushing, pushing, eating the good buttons at the right time. Okay, pressure in the corner, stay out there, you're looking great in there, just don't move. Okay, he's in the ropes, but no, he finds, and this is one of the best uh, mix-ups that Vidra does when he gets the V-Trigger activation. He's capable of changing the directions and changing the uh, the um, the positions, but Vidra, but I mean, Afro Cyan, he just don't care. He just don't care about anything, and he gets the first one and two match points. 
Okay, nice conversion again with the cash counter. Looking to push into the corner and he stays out there pushing the good buttons. As I said, he's pushing the buttons at the best moment. And now oh, he he's cracking the DP, uh, the DP baited. The stun is out there and the damage is going to be oh. absolutely massive. Well, this kill will, it obviously will kill. And for Cyan takes the lead here and allows his team to take the lead, the full lead here and this match. It's, oh my God, it's, uh, it's a rage kid. No, 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 it's just the... Uh... Oh yeah, it's a rage kick. <laughs> it's kind of a rage kick. <laughs> oh my god, he's not happy with then. himself, nah, I think. I guess, well, I felt like, I mean, we all know about CFN. Uh, King Jaro, I haven't seen you in the, in the comments. Uh, we all know about CFN's conditions. Sometimes it can be so dirty, so hard to play at your best level. And obviously... Uh, c'est pas un RQ, nous dit Santo. Euh, et, bah, tant mieux, j'ai envie de te dire. <rire> il avait perdu avant, c'est ça que tu veux me dire. Donc peut-être qu'il avait pas perdu. C'est pas un RQ. Mais, mais bon, malheureusement, et c'est vrai que ça peut être dur. Peut-être que c'est un problème. Peut-être qu'effectivement, Vidra était un peu gavé à cause de ça. Enfin, j'espère pas, moi non plus. Peut-être pas. Sometimes CFN can be so frustrating. This is why, again, you need to go to your local events. You need to meet people RLL. You need to face the guy in the eye whenever you start the match and check and say, Good luck, without thinking of, obviously that you want to wish him good luck because you don't. <laughs> I mean, you you want him to lose, so you know. I mean, in any case, it's funny enough. And uh, but you need to go out there and meet the people and get the experience, feel the hype, feel the energy, and support your yeah, local. Yeah, Vidra, uh, stay stay with us in the chat and support your last player, Akram. Of course, of course. Baby, come back. <laughs> bro, this is no, bro, this no. Please. Come back. Do you know that? Don't do. Don't say that. I do. I do. Don't. 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 Just please. Be, I mean, keep your. Keep some street credits. You know, street reputation. I mean, you need to. You need to be better than this, if I don't. So please do not go for that. Okay. Showtime now. Akram yes, is going to show time. how to play Lucia. <laughs> Yo, get down, Runes cast. Yo, yes, down. It's amazing. Uh, Akram, who played the Colleen in the previous match, now goes with Lucia, another one, and he goes with the V skill too, Two. one we really, really Pretty don't rare. see quite often. Yeah, you look at this. It's really interesting because it's one V skill that we almost never see. And now he's used it like more times than I have ever seen it in my entire life. Oh, but Recommends Bardet doesn't give a, a damn about it. And now he's looking so strong with the stun. And the first round in his pocket. Of course, he, if he doesn't miss. And he found the police. Yeah, actually, uh, well, if all, the, if all the police were like Lucia, I think, I guess, and I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we wouldn't talk about defunding the police. But, you know, uh, well, in any case, it's kind of hard. And now, oh, go, man, he found... And found a hit but could not convert it to it because of the distance. And now again, Akram using so much V skill to get, I mean, to get super close to uh, Mena. This is and it's actually working quite well in the second round. Okay, I jump in very nice, very you know, uh, very uh, easy uh, to uh, to enter air. Okay, and recommends Barnett looking super strong out there. But no, the DP is going to save the day maybe. And see Akram, he oh, takes no. it. That's not a good one. And the inversion of position, obviously activating V trigger. And now Akram, he needs to go out there and to push as much as he can. If he doesn't want wow. him to die, and he did actually. Uh, you don't know what the V trigger V skill does. Uh, it's, uh, it does the flip. You can see that. Uh, Lucia, she does this kind of weird flip uh, where, where she is, uh, uh, you know, like a, um, how do you call that? Like a crack shoot, like a Terry Bogart's crack shoot. And she does that 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 move, and she also has a knee, uh, um, like a tiger knee, like a Sagat's tiger knee. She has like both of these moves, like this one, like just just, just the one that you saw here. It's like a tiger and, uh, knee, yeah. Is it really likes it looks like a tiger knee, and he has this move where he uh, does like a crack shoot, uh, like a terrible guy's crack shoot. Nice conversion here, it's almost a stun. He needs to push, but he could not convert that. And now he's facing Vicky Runs Barnett, V Trigger, who, who jumps at her just as much as he can. But now Rak Akram here looking solid, looking strong, and not just not looking to die in this round, but everything is possible. You know, Menat is capable of, of one. Very, very good uh, comeback. 
And look, it's not a good defense, very good jumping here from Recommends Barnett, but no conversion, not a big one in the case. And now, gotta be careful for the Arnakam side, gotta be careful because now it's the slow, and now he's the one in the bad position, he needs to go out there and find something. Okay, nice guard here, almost dead, but not yet. Okay, what's going to happen? Oh, the dive kick. kick. The dive killing kick. <laughs> Ça fait plusieurs yeah. fois hein, qu'il le sort, hein, la dive kick pour tuer à la fin. Yes, Et pourtant, quand c'est en garde, euh, ça doit être pas safe, hein, euh, un dive kick. Depends of the... Ouais, ça dépend de la hauteur. Ouais. Ça dépend clairement de la hauteur quand il le fait, et c'est pour ça que je pense que c'est plutôt bien vu de sa part. Il joue bien, Rick Van Barnett, hein, quand tu Après, vois comment il, il arrive joue, à, à bien gérer bien. le jeu de projectile de, de Lucia. Soit il les absorbe, soit il les reflecte. Et c'est intéressant hein, vraiment la façon dont Akram joue avec son V-Skill 2 et de toute façon euh, et en plus il arrive à placer des pifs de façon assez régulière Akram joue bien le coup là, avec une excellente activation de trigger et là il va pouvoir faire des dégâts, il va pouvoir faire des dégâts le joueur suisse il va essayer avec un reset qui était plutôt bien vu avec, avec bien sûr Rickemans Barnett qui fidèle à son habitude prend un peu d'espace ici pour ne pas trop subir ça c'est plutôt positif, c'est bien il le savait Rickemans Barnett c'est pour ça qu'il a pas tapé oh. attention, attention il faut être solide du côté d'Akram s'il veut pas Incliné tout de suite dans ce match, oui. parce il y a déjà non. deux matchs de match, il ne manque pas grand chose non. Oh, ça va tuer, ça va tuer ou quoi Si ça ne se trompe pas, Rickman Barnett, s'il si, n'y a pas le Il va pouvoir recharger son, son sacré critical là truc, ce monstrueux, mais oh, oui, Regarde ça de bas Oh là là Oh là là Le combo vidéo Check de body, check de booty, oh, et boum Oh là 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 Il a pris une ouverture de garde de trop, à cram, aïe aïe aïe, c'est là le piquant ah mais quand il avait ouvert la garde, il lui manquait une barre de Yex ouais. et ses, ses combos qui ont fait qu'il a rattrapé sa, sa barre d'Yex. Euh, c'est de la folie hein, ce personnage. Hein. Franchement. Ah ouais, non, c'était la folie. Là, c'était la folie, il a vraiment bien joué le coup. GG's, recommence Barnett, my man, looking so strong oh. again, as I said, uh, he's... I mean, he's such a nice character, such a nice player, sorry, because, well, you know, you all know Matt, but me not, but really, he does the job, and GG's to all the players, because really, they've done a great job, recommends Barnett, once the player, then Afro Cyan, obviously, uh, well.